Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Viv of Viz, and today we're going to create an app called Horizontal Scrolling in Thunkable. So, I'll first go to the Thunkable page and please sign in to Thunkable with your Gmail account if you haven't. So, I'll click on Create New App and I will write Horizontal Scrolling. So I have written horizontal scrolling and I will enter so that my app gets created. Now my app is got created and I will begin creating my app now. So I will go over here and I'll add a row. Then inside the row I will set the height and width to fit contents. Then I'll go over here and I'll add a column inside the exact same row. And I'll set it height to fit contents and fit contents too. Now we're gonna do something tricky. We're gonna add columns inside columns. So let's do that. We'll write column and we'll just add it inside this column and now we'll set the height and width to absolute size 250 over here or we'll just set it to 200 and width to 200 now better than dragging and dropping it so many times we'll just click on this button duplicate and ask us duplicate then we'll duplicate this until we get seven columns and my last column yes now at this last row i will set the height to 250 and even the width to 250 i'll do the same in the column 2 so just to 250 and 250 now what about these rows which are inside i will just go in here and i'll change the background color so that i'll come to know when i am scrolling them that this is different this is different otherwise we won't come to know which one is which okay so i have changed the colors and now we'll go to the main row that we created first okay so where are this and we'll go to this advanced section and where you get this transform text we'll change this perspective to rotate z and in the rotate z there's a secret code that if you all want to use this code later on you can just write this in a notebook so i will write the rotate z code to 1.57 and 8 and i'll click on this add button so now our code of rotate z is given so now when we click on live test we can scroll our columns and so will we come to know but over here if you all want to create a app based on this you all can just add images inside this and all so that's how we can do horizontal scrolling so thanks friends for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye